What's good, y'all? Hope you're having a blessed day. You all know I like to be try to entertain you guys and be funny and whatnot, but this is gonna be a pretty serious video. I'm gonna try to make this video as short, sweet, and simple as possible, but at the same time, I do wanna touch on the main and important details. Around the beginning of May, I started experiencing a excruciating pain around my abdomen area, my lower stomach, around my belly button, and it was pretty bad for a week. And when I say bad, it was really bad. I like to consider and say that I have a high pain tolerance, and this is how bad it was for me. I was sleeping, I kid you not, not exaggerating, 14 to 16 hours a day, and I never do that, but when you sleep, you can't feel the pain, so that's why I was sleeping. The pain wasn't a hit or miss. It was as soon as I woke up till I went back to sleep. It was like somebody was, it was almost a very hard cramp and someone's like jabbing me all throughout the day. And I would literally sleep like this in a fetal position, curled up in a ball. And when I would record and edit my video for you guys, in this same chair, I would be hunched over, just grabbing my stomach, editing with one hand, and it was bad, it was so bad that I remember just thinking to myself, if I can get through this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Not if I can get through it, if I can't get through it. You get what I'm trying to say. And throughout this time too, this is still in May, for two to three to four weeks, something like that, I couldn't eat. The only thing I was eating every single day was one pack of crackers. I was consuming roughly 250 calories a day and it wasn't like I was hungry. I, I wasn't hungry and I was forcing myself just to eat the pack of crackers. I don't like being lazy. I hate not going to the gym anytime I miss. I feel lazy and I hate just not being productive. I'm sure some of you relate. I'm a guy who I always gotta be on the move and I gotta be doing something and I just couldn't. I'm a guy who hates going to the doctor just because I'm not a weenie. I don't want to be a weenie, but I had to put my pride aside because I honestly, I'm not going to say I felt like I was dying, but something was wrong. So I went to the doctor. The first day I was there, they didn't know what was wrong. We did some testing and then my results came back in the next day and they still didn't know what was wrong. So they told me to come back in for more tests in about two to three days. I did go back for those tests, took the test, and what do you know? They still don't know what's wrong. The time frame we're in now that I'm referring to in the story is early June. What the first doctor I was going to wind up doing is that they said they couldn't help me because they didn't specialize in the stomach area, so they prescribed me and recommended me to go to this different doctor, basically a professional. They couldn't get me in right away because there was a busy list, so I had to wait two weeks. So from June 1st to June like 17th or 18th, I was just, I wasn't going to the doctor or anything. Throughout this two week span too, the pain was, it wasn't getting dramatically worse, but it was slightly, slightly, by like, the slightest just getting worse and I could feel it. My appetite still wasn't there. I'd wake up and I could feel it, but it got to the point by then, and it's terrible I even have to say this, but I got used to it. If you are used to having the same pain for 10 straight days, you just eventually get used to it. I mean, that's anything in life. I remember in late June, so two to three weeks ago, I finally got to the point where I just told myself, I'm not gonna just curl up in a ball and be in pain. I'm going to the gym and I'm living my everyday life and that's what I continue to do. The pain didn't go away, I just started pushing through it. But then starting on June 20th, I had to see that professional doctor once a week. We'd have tests done and then they'd call me back with the results. And every single time, it was the same thing. They didn't know what was going on, so we was just wasting time. I don't care about wasting the time with doing the tests. What's Frustrating is that they don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. And that's the most frustrating thing because for example, if you have the flu or you get diagnosed with it, at least you know what's wrong so you can take medicine to eventually get healthy. But I can't take medicine and they can't prescribe it to me or have surgery yet because they don't know what's wrong. To sum up these past four weeks, I've basically gone to the professional doctor or seen his assistant one to two times a week, have multiple tests done just for them to tell me they don't know what's wrong and everything looks normal. And my doctor called me today, the professional that I'm seeing, and he said we're down to the last resort and that is they're going to be performing a 
surgical operation. That's how he called it because technically it is because they're going to be putting me to sleep. And what they're going to do is, this is according to him, they're going to be putting me to sleep and then putting this long like scope down my throat and taking pictures of my body. And hopefully that will let them see or show them maybe what's going on or what they're looking for. I'm having that operation done in exactly a week from today. So on July 20th. And honestly, most people when they go into that are probably scared and don't want answers and don't want them to give them the bad news. But my biggest fear honestly is for me to have that operation and them tell me they don't know what's wrong because there's something wrong. I mean, I'm in pain. I've been in pain for the past three months. So hopefully they do find something that way I can take medicine or have surgery and make the pain go away. I'm not a person who wants sympathy or want you to throw a pity party for me because hey, you, you right there, you watching this, you got problems too that I don't know about. Every single person in the world is fighting a battle that nobody knows about. And I wanted to share this with you guys just so you understand what's going on and so I can keep you guys up to date. A lot of YouTubers don't always share everything with their audience and that's cool, but on my channel for the most part, I've always tried to keep most of you updated if anything big is going on in my life. And I'd say this is pretty big. I'd really appreciate it if you keep me in your thoughts and prayers. And I'm not scared, I'm not, and I'm not worried. And you wanna know why? I only control the controllables. I only focus on what I can control. And this is nothing I can control, sadly. And I know God's going to take care of me, and He's always going to be there for me. I haven't even really thought of anything serious with this. It could be something serious. Who knows? But I don't focus on that. I only try to focus on the good. And one thing I want to touch on, too, is that, yeah, my most recent video, I was out vlogging, and I went to Birmingham. So some of y'all might be like, Matt, if you was in pain, how'd you do all that? I'm in pain, but it's to the point I've been in this pain for three months, and I feel like I have to emphasize that, so I'm starting to build up, build, build up a tolerance for it, and I'm not gonna sit in my bed, crawled up in a ball, and just cry and complain about how I'm in pain. I'm still gonna live my everyday life. I'm not letting this affect me too much. Hopefully, we get some good news soon. Maybe it's nothing major. That's what I'm hoping for, but if it is, you know, it is what it is. I can't do nothing about it. That's pretty much all there is to it. I do want to let you guys know that I've pretty much been fighting through it and just getting through it these past two or three months. I've been not living life to the fullest. I've been surviving and trying to put out content. I, I don't care how much what I'm going through or whatnot. I'm always going to put the content and you guys first because I love what I do and you guys, it seems like y'all love the videos. But for the past three months, I will say, and I do want you to understand that it has been hard on me from a mental aspect and just getting the videos out because I'm not healthy and I just want to be healthy. I, I can't, I don't think some of you understand. I'm sure you've heard the quote that health is wealth and I've always heard that. And I didn't understand it, but now I do because if you're healthy, you can build wealth. But if you're in the hospital sick, you can't. Your health is everything. I'd rather be healthy my entire life than have a billion dollars. Because if you're healthy, you can do everything you want and it's, it's the best feeling. And we really take it for granted. I didn't take being healthy for granted because I've had big surgeries before. I've been in the hospital for days, but going through this, I've even been, I don't even know what to say. If you're healthy, don't take it for granted. One thing I always tell myself is that it may be corny, but it helps me and motivates me. There's somebody in the hospital right now, think about it, right now, that would be killing for the opportunity that me and you have, even me, even in this not so great situation I'm in, somebody in the hospital with cancer or any of that would kill just to be doing and in my shoes right now. I'm not gonna sit up here and I feel like I haven't in this video just told you guys how bad the pain is. It's bad, There's that's all there is to say to it. If you don't wanna believe me, that's up to you, but I've been fighting just to get out the content for you and I haven't felt great. If we get some good news in the next couple of weeks or bad news, 
I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know just to keep you up to date on things. But that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys learned about what I've been going through the past three months. It's really interesting because you only see the finished product. You only see the videos. You don't see what the person behind the product and behind the scenes had to go through to make the videos. It, it's really interesting. I love you guys so much. And I'm not going to lie. One thing that's helped me continue to put out content through this tough time is you guys because you so you show so much love on the videos i feel like i can't let you down i i just can't and unless the pain gets unbearable and i'd make a video about it the content's still not going to slow down if the content if i'm not uploading every day like i have been it's because there's nothing to talk about and i know you guys are going to understand that that's going to wrap up this video though yeah Keep me in your prayers, and as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.